It's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Thank you so much for joining us. Our guest is Fiona Ma. Fiona is a member of the California State Assembly. She is Speaker Pro Tem. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Brad. I want to talk to you about what's happening with the budget. We have a budget gap, about $25 billion. Mm -hmm. a Governor Brown is looking to put a tax extension on the ballot for about $12 billion. How do you feel about that proposal? Well, he, um, as, as he campaigned, he said that he was going to make the tough choices. And so he uh, proposed a very balanced, honest budget, $12 billion worth of cuts, $12 billion worth of tax extensions. Of course, he is uh, hoping to get it on the ballot for June, and he is going to go up and down the state and talk to the voters about our, our dire fiscal sure. problems. So let's talk about the strategy, because in order to get it on the ballot, the tax extension, you need some Republican votes, right. because you need two-thirds to get it on the ballot. Right. What the Republican Party is saying is, look, we had this proposition on the ballot in 2009. The voters said no. Right. Why do we need to do it again? Right. How would you respond to that? Well, I th think um, it's a different governor. Uh, different times, the governor has uh, demonstrated that he is willing to make those tough cuts uh, that uh, Democrats have not wanted to mm -hmm. make before. And in the past 22 years, I think there's only been four tax measures that have passed. So if the Republicans feel like uh, it's not going to pass, well, put it on the ballot. Um, they voted to put everything else on the mm -hmm. ballot, and it's not right to kind of pick and choose what you want the voters to vote on. Mm -hmm. And that's what the governor's saying, is that let the voters decide. If they don't want the tax extensions, well, what services or programs do they want to cut? And that's what he's asking. Let the voters decide. And that's the big challenge, because whether it goes on the ballot or not, let's just say for argument's sake, the extension does not pass. Right. As I understand it, the cuts could be incredibly draconian. Cutting the school year by a month, is that really a possibility? Well, everything will be a possibility. So we're talking about $12 billion if the initiative does not pass in June. Right. We're going to come back to the table like we always do, right. and we're going to have to work it out again and figure it out. But in the past, we've had bigger deficits, yet we didn't hear about cutting the school year by a month. Why is this year we're hearing that? Well, we, no borrowing or? we have made cuts to the schools. But we are at the point where we are at the bone. Mm. Uh, and so now we're talking about, you know, shortening the school day, shortening the school year, laying off teachers, cutting classes. I mean, that's where so we're at right now. So it's because we're at the bone already. It's, it's been four years of deficits. Um, I've only been here four years, and every year it's gotten worse. Obviously, uh, two years ago it was at the height of the fiscal right. crisis. We had a $42 billion deficit. I mean, now we're at $26 billion, which but, seems better, are, but are, it's still bad. Are we getting to a point where it's not going to be closing deficits with gimmicks or accounting? schemes. Are we done with that? We are done with it. Um, we have been kicking the can down right. the road hoping that the economy would get better, but it's not. Uh, we are at the maximum debt capacity. Uh, we cannot, the voters have voted uh, Prop 22 that we cannot take or, or borrow from the local funds. Right. Prop 26 now says we cannot raise fines without two-thirds vote. I mean, it's pretty much game over. Mm -hmm. You mentioned Prop 22, yeah. and that brings up a question about redevelopment. Yes. Um, it's amazing how Democrats and Republicans other than the governor, have united against the proposal to eliminate redevelopment agencies. Right. Have you come down on this? Well, you know, I think the governor said that he is open to uh, hearing proposals. What he wants is he wants the schools to be fully funded. And redevelopment agencies do take some of the general fund away from the school. So he is saying if redevelopment uh, wants to continue... Right. Give me a plan that what does do not take think? away from schools. Um, I think he's, he's going in the right direction. Um, obviously, redevelopment does provide the needed affordable housing, mm -hmm. the economic development, but I think it can be restructured and reformed so that we can provide more money to the schools, yet still do what redevelopment um, is doing. Okay, her name is Fiona Ma. She's Speaker Pro Tem of the California State Assembly. Uh, join us on Charter Channel 101 and the California Channel for a special edition with the August leader. I'm Brad Palmer, and thank you for joining us uh, back to HLN.